this old rabbit hutch. I had two of them, and uh, I used one for composting uh, leaves for my worm bin. And so I, I may do that with this one, but it's just been sitting out here, and I can't use it anymore. It, it lasted for a long time, but uh, the wire in the bottom is uh, rusted. I patched it, and uh, it just holds manure in there in the bottom when you do that. So. I went to Cages after I built this, and it was one of the best moves I ever made. A lot of the wood underneath is rotten, and it's not as sanitary as the cages. Now, they look cozy, you know, with the wood and everything. And, you know, I really didn't like cages at first, but I got over it. If you're new to raising rabbits you may get into it and find out you don't like it and then you spend a lot of time building a hutch that you can't sell most of the time people won't get rid of them just give them away but they're already in bad shape by the time they do but with a wire cage you they have a resale value and uh, even if the bottom's rusted out you can replace it with a new panel of uh, wire now don't believe what people tell you about wire hurting rabbits feet that's a lie and what I found out most of the time people leave hay and plywood in the bottoms and then it gets saturated with urine and it burns your feet up and they get raw and then they have problems. I've never had a problem with rabbits since 1981 when I got into rabbits. I have never had any problem with feet. So don't believe, if you hear that about wire hurting rabbits feet, don't believe it, at least with New Zealanders and other large rabbits. I've never had a problem. There's more money up front, but it's well worth it as far as the maintenance and the resale value using uh, cage wire. If you have to relocate for whatever reason, whether it's an emergency or whether uh, you're not renting a place anymore, Wire cages can be loaded in the back of a pickup within minutes. And you can't move these hutches like you can wire cages. If there was a fire and it came across this field, I can cut these I can cut these cages and throw them up in the back of the pickups and save my animals. And we'll get to more of that here in a minute. Trying to be self-sustainable. What I would do if I couldn't buy any feed, I would take the bottom panel off the floor out of the cage. And then I would stake it down with tent stakes. You can use whatever type of tent stakes you want. You know, the stronger the better. But with this baby safe wire, it's good and strong at the bottom. And uh, dogs couldn't, you know, just pull it up or tear up the wire. Not that easily. So I would uh, stake this down and let them feed off the grass and then move it. And then I'd have some bowls that I could move and keep, uh, keep my rabbits watered. But that's another possibility with these wire cages that you... You don't have with a hutch. I can cut these wires and load them straight into the truck, like I said. Now I lay this tin down first and then put the cages on top. Take these feeders off, throw them inside the cage. Take these water lines off and throw them in the water bucket. 
be hooked up. This is my grow out pen. That's why there ain't there's no uh, breeding stock stock in here. And uh, the grow out pens naturally got larger feeders on the doors. I'm gonna show you some of the supplies I'd take with me, and a lot of this stuff I'd have in my toolboxes already that I know that I'm gonna take. Hand boxes, my tent stakes. I take them. A roll of wire for any kind of patches or repairs. My J clips for repairs on my rabbit cages and a J clip pliers. I'd have uh, since I would take my chickens. I've got this livestock box. I don't know how well you can see it because it's made out of wire, but there's four compartments in it. And uh, it's got the uh, baby safe wire around the bottom so it makes the box real strong. And it's got the 14 gauge half inch by one inch uh, floor wire in it. But anyway, it opens up. And I can put either rabbits or chickens in it. And uh, I need to build another one because I don't, there's only four here. I need to build one or two more. But uh, anyway, that's another, another way I can protect my livestock. If I have to move, I want to make sure I have chicken wire for my chickens so they can feed and, uh, and uh, have a run. I'd have to figure out, you know, some kind of box or something to keep them, keep them in at night to keep them safe. But, but I would want to run and I'd want to be able to have some chicken wire. So I have these two rolls here. And I also keep these. These three foot T posts, they would hold up my wire or they could help stabilize my cages, either one. So you'd want to have a handful of these to take with you too. And uh, my daughter made a cover for this livestock cage to keep them calm whenever they're in the cage. So it works pretty good. So, I hope it never gets to where I have an emergency, but I'm going to be prepared when it happens. And so, I'm sharing this with you because maybe you haven't thought about it. So, uh, I care about my animals just as much as I do my pets. So... For all y'all that uh, watch my log cabin videos, I've been, I started on it the other day. I'll show you what I did. Well, I'll show you right here. I made a drawing on my porch, my wraparound porch. And I got all my measurements, all my piers, and where all my floor joists are going to be, so I'm pretty happy about that. I'm going to be buying some some lumber and I'm going to be running some string lines around there to get that going, but I'll show you what I did the other day. The ladders were laying on the roof and I had to install those braces for my stack. You can see them right there. I mounted them up under the ridge cap because if the screws start leaking, I didn't want water running down in underneath it and into my cabin. So it looks good. I, I let them sit out in the rain and wash the oil off of that, off the uh, braces. And uh, now I took some Scotch Bright 
and uh, cleaned them up and then put some flat black on there. So uh, they look a little better than if they were shiny. So, yeah, it looks good. Well, I appreciate y'all watching and uh, Lord willing, I'll see you later.